Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football and England, Harry Maguire, Gareth Southgate, Jordan Henderson have got themselves into hot water again. Uh, this is in relation to jeers for, or boos as we would call them, for uh, Jordan Henderson at the game last night. Uh, obviously there was some for the Australia game as well. Southgate commented on it. We did a video on that at the weekend. Harry Maguire has now commented on it and he's got himself into a little bit of bother. Look, I... Don't mind Harry Maguire as a footballer. I don't think he's a politician. And I think, in fairness, when I read out what I'm about to say here, you probably come to a similar opinion to me that he's upset a few people that he probably didn't mean to upset. The wider issue, I think, here is that why is the media obsessed with people getting booed? Um, we're talking about Jordan Henderson being booed again. Harry Maguire said, proper England fans don't boo players. They don't boo players who dedicate their life to play and do everything they can to make this country have good memories and have special moments for them and their families. You heard when he came on the cheers and the few jeers, but they aren't England fans. Doubling down Harry Maguire there that if you booed uh, Jordan Henderson or you don't want him in an England shirt and you've expressed that opinion, you're not a proper fan. You're not an England fan. And that's from Harry Maguire. And when you make those sort of statements on something that is a divisive topic, you're going to isolate yourself. And I think that... This is why I think footballers need to be, you know, a little bit careful about what they're talking about, because there's a political angle on this, which we'll read in a minute. But on a basic level, you're a player that, you know, with all due respect, Harry Maguire at the moment does divide opinion. Where would you put Harry Maguire in the comments in relation to England's top five centre backs? I would go John Stones. I would go Dunk. I would go Colwell. I'd go Gwehi, um, And I would probably go uh, Tamori ahead of him. But look, that's that's my personal opinion. You might think differently, get in the comments. But, you know, you say that and then the player himself comes out and says, these people aren't proper England fans twice. Um, people don't like being told what they are. You know, people don't like it. United are going through something at the moment with Sir Jim Radcliffe and people are saying you're a toxic, negative, not really a United fan if you can't get behind Sir Jim. People don't like that. They don't like being told what to think by other people. And... But my, my, my issue is with this is that I think Harry Maguire in a way has been a victim of, 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 of the media here because he's just, England have just won a game very well, very convincingly. They've just qualified for the Euros and the media ask him about the jeers for Jordan Henderson. And Gareth Southgate after the Scotland game gets asked about the boos for Harry Maguire. And this is a tight knit group. They get on really, really well and they're very, you know, based on team morale and, and, and unity. They're all, you know, Southgate comes out and defends Maguire. Um, Southgate comes out and defends Henderson. Maguire comes out and defends Henderson. And I actually think it's a little bit for clicks. You know, I think it's not the players. I think the I think the journalists asking these questions, there's far better questions to be asked about the development of Jude Bellingham, the chances in the Euros, you know, lots and lots of things to talk about, how much they're missing Luke Shaw at left back and a natural left back, things like that. But no, we'll ask about Jordan Henderson getting a few more boos again. And the incredible thing about this is that it's been common practice for years. If you're old enough, you'll know. David Beckham got booed. A lot of Man United players got booed. Some Liverpool fans get booed. Uh, players got booed. It's not unusual for players of certain clubs to get booed by England fans. And that doesn't mean they're not a proper fan. And I think that because of the unity in the England team, they're lashing out at the wrong people. Um, I would have said to Harry Maguire about the England fa fans booing Jordan Henderson. I just would have said, look, it's not it's not nice. It's been happening for years. You don't really want that to happen uh, for your national team. But, you know, it goes on and there's many reasons why that goes on. We're not going to focus on that. We're going to fo focus on qualification. The minute he says proper England fans don't boo, it's a headline. We're talking about it. Other people are talking about it. And, um, you know, it just comes across as wrong. Now, look, ultimately, I just think, you know, Harry Maguire's in a different, difficult position there. And many people would say the same thing. The problem he's got is that then you've got um, the uh, backlash from England groups like the Three Lions Pride, who um, are um, have spoken to uh, the Mirror exclusively. And a spokesperson for that group has said that uh, fans have a valid voice. And ultimately, there are many actions that fans can take to show their distaste with players, teams or owners. We've seen a superb action across the game in relation to all of these aspects in the past. Uh, booing is never something that fans wish to do to their own team, but it's indicative of the strength of feeling around the issues with Jordan Henderson and his choices. It's clear that it is not just LGBT plus fans who think that he is a Saudi sellout. To say that fans who follow this team loyally home and away 
and at great personal expense and not are not proper fans is gatekeeping the game. How else would Maguire like fans to register their distaste? There's a lack of interest in listening to the dialogue or nuance that fans and fans groups have spent their free time raising and unfortunately that means the only way to be heard is with direct action. Gatekeeping football to what a player believes makes a proper fan harks back to a time where LGBT plus fans were, weren't welcome and excludes people from the beautiful games. Fans are the soul of the game. Without us, there is no atmosphere. Look, I'm not here to get into that. I'm sure you don't want to get into that. There's a strong sense of feeling that I probably wasn't aware about. I, I personally thought that people might be booing Jordan Henderson because he's being picked when he's retired to Saudi Arabia and James Ward-Prowse can't get in the team. I thought that's what it's about. Obviously, there's people who genuinely have strong feelings about him going and playing in Saudi Arabia full stop and what that means in relation to things they have beliefs about. Ultimately, I don't agree with people being booed and I've got very strong opinions on players that I don't think are good enough for England or good enough for Manchester United, but I don't like booing. I, I don't. But then you listen to that and you go, well, some people are really uh, passionate about things they believe in and they don't feel they're being listened to. So when they see something on the pitch that they're not happy with, they boo it. Um, I can't really argue with that. I can't really argue with it, whether I agree with it. Um, and that's why I feel that Maguire has been, you know, sort of sold up a river a little bit with that question, because he's going to come out and back his teammate. And then he said, you know, you're not a real England fan if you boo. And now he's going to be faced with questions from people who go, so... I boo him because I don't agree that he's gone and played in a country that have beliefs different to me and I think he's a sellout. But I've got the England shirt and I've been home and away for 10 years. I'm not a real England fan. And that's the problem, isn't it? You make a definitive statement like you're not an England fan if you boo Jordan Henderson, but then they're going to come back with, you know, what, you know, beliefs and Harry Maguire's sort of stuck in a position where he goes, yeah, I didn't really mean that. So I think it's... I think the media has a responsibility and I think England has a responsibility to Harry Maguire for these sort of questions, to see them coming, you know, to see these questions coming. Um, it's a bit like when Southgate defended the boos against Harry Maguire. That was an away game for Scotland who were clearly targeting a player that, you know, they knew they could target and uh, Southgate probably shouldn't have played him in that game anyway and he got, you know, he cost them a goal. So, you know, I just think it's about having a little bit more intelligence. Uh, look, I'm going to say... I don't really have a problem with what Maguire said and I don't really have a problem with people who booed. Um, but it becomes another, you know, a publicity nightmare for England, really, doesn't it? At a time where they've just qualified from the Euros. And I just think sometimes players need to do something that they're not skilled at doing. They're footballers. And I think sometimes you get asked the question about the jeers. You've just won a game. Uh, you want to defend your mate and you go, they're not real fans, you know, like that, because you feel you're in a position of strength because you've just qualified for the Euros. And then you pick the paper up the next day and you go, oh, shit, I've just gone and offended this group, this group, these fans. And it's like, really, there needs to almost be that focus as a player and as a manager to go, look, I'm, I'm passionate about this. I don't think they should be booing him. I don't think it's the way to support a team. But actually, am I going to get taken out of context? Am I going to get accused of things that I'm not meaning? ultimately deflect, deflect the question and go, look, it's not ideal, but we've just qualified for the Euros. I think that shows the quality of this team and you move on. Um, but it's just another storm, isn't it, around things. And look, ultimately, I blame Southgate. Surprise, surprise. Um, I do the podcast with Will. Listen to it. Goldbridge saves football. It's out. I've dropped the link in the description. He's a big Southgate fan. But I think these problems wouldn't exist if he didn't keep picking players that he's got a friendship with. Jordan Henderson should not be wearing an England shirt. He's playing in Saudi Arabia. He wasn't a particularly star player anyway. He was basically at the end of his career. We should be moving on from Jordan Henderson. It's like, it, and it's nothing against Saudi. If he had gone to the MLS, I don't think he should get picked. If you leave the Premier League, you should be going to the, um, you know, you should be retiring from international football or Southgate should be retiring. Calvin Phillips, 70 minutes of Premier League football and he's playing, starting for England. Um, you know, this comes down to the manager. And I think sometimes, you know, does it really benefit? Is it really worth the hassle of picking Jordan Henderson at the moment? Is he really that important? Or does James Ward-Prowse deserve it more? And and it just seems to me that Southgate's a very stubborn individual about things that actually don't make sense. But look, get your comments in below. What are your thoughts? Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you smash a like on the video and subscribe. I'll speak to you on the next one. And make sure you listen to the podcast. Brand new out yesterday. You might not listen to it. Goldbridge saves football. Some fantastic topics. I'll speak to you all later.